Hi guys, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you the newest apps in Samsung's Good Lock family. Let's get started. So here I've got my S10 Plus. Uh, this is running One UI. It's running the up, uh, One UI 1.1. Sorry, this is running um, the ASD3 update uh, in the US. It's running essentially the March security patch. Um, so good luck adds a huge amount of customization to One UI outside of themes, actually letting you change the stock everything off of just apps. So you've got lock star, quick star, task changer, clock face, multi star, nav star, nice shot, notice star. Nice shot, notice star, what I'm showing off to you guys today, along with um, edge lighting plus, but all of these other ones are here as well. So let's start off with edge lighting plus. It's essentially my favorite app right now. It actually lets you use your note and so, so Samsung removed the notification LED. They didn't do what Xiaomi did and put it up in the top bar. They didn't do what all the other companies did. And you know what? They just removed it. It's too bad, but at least they're giving us this effect now. So you can actually select the eclipse and fill in that. There is an app by Chainfire that does the same thing, but this is native in Samsung's realm of updates and apps. So I would recommend using this over the other apps as it will use a less hacky method of working. So let's just, you know, let's change the duration to be longer and let's change the color up. Cool. So now when I send myself a text from my other phone over here, test, I should receive it here. You see it up there and you can kind of see it's hard with my uh, wallpaper, but you can see that there was a little light around the uh, top. It might be easier to see when I'm on my always on display. So let me just send another text. And once it comes through, you can 100% see it right up there. And that makes it really nice if you have a notification uh, instead of the notification LED, but it is a relatively short duration. It's still nice to have though. Um, you can change around the colors, you can change around everything essentially to make it work better. Now, the next good lock update was Nice Shot. Nice Shot is probably one of my favorite good lock apps. I don't use many of them because I like the stock system, but I am 100% using Night, uh, Nice Shot. It has a bunch of stuff to uh, upgrade your screenshots. First off, you have save uh, format, so you can change your screenshots from a JPEG to a PNG. Small feature, I like it. Then you've got exclude system UI. So when you take a screenshot, it'll remove the nav bar and notification bar. So all you get is the content of the uh, screen. It's a nice feature. You have delete file after sharing. So if you, if you immediately share a file through the Samsung capture screenshot window, it will automatically delete it for you. Again, pretty nice. And now the most important one is screen recording. Screen recording lets you change actually screen record, which is not natively in one UI. And then it lets you change your sound. So you can do system sounds, no sound or system sound and mic. This is great for game recording. If you uh, want to record at 30 FPS, then you have video quality. So high, medium, low, high looks exactly as if you were uh, recording on your phone screen. It goes to the same resolution, everything. It looks great. I haven't really tried medium and low because honestly, I don't see a need to. Then you have the tag menu where you can, when you take a screenshot, you can add tags to it to make sorting incredibly easy. It's super nice. So, uh, you know, what? let's show off a little bit of the screen recording because that's the most important part in my opinion. You take a screenshot and then you just hit the screen recording button. And now you're recording. It does put this little movable window around and you're recording now. So as you can see, you have a one hour limit and that's it. You can just record whatever you're doing. Makes it super easy and you can do whatever you feel like with it. So you can just go here and let's end it. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go over to my gallery and watch the screen recording. It's super high resolution. I almost can't tell that it's a screen recording. 
The only way you can tell is the frame rate. The frame rate is 30 frames per second, down from the 60 that the display is natively at. Uh, this is a little bit annoying, and there's no option to change it, but hopefully with updates, this will come. Samsung does seem to be updating um, their good lock apps about once a month, which is super nice. And next, you have tags. Tags is another option. So let's just take a quick screenshot here. And let's tag it. You have One UI Home, which is the app you're in, and then what it recognizes in the actual screen. So you have the sky from my wallpaper, you have an app because they're app icons, and then Instagram because when I took the screenshot, Instagram was crashing. And let's save it. Now we can go over to tags. I already did take a couple screenshots and we can go to One UI Home. Now these are my two screenshots in One UI Home. Because they have the save tag, it shows up like that. Again, it does open up in your gallery so it can be a little bit weird. Then you have your latest, because this is from the XDA screenshot I took a couple minutes ago. Again, gallery should be fixed, but it is what it is. So you can check out all these different tags you have, and it works well. If you go to a specific website, it will actually save the website you're on and the app you're in. So I went to Google Chrome, opened up the XDA website, and it saved XDA and the tab I was in. Super nice, super useful. Now the last good lock app, oops, is over here, and it's called Notastar. This lets you view all your notifications. So let's just clear these notifications out. Got a message in Discord and took a screenshot notification. And now they're gone, totally gone. Well, not really. See, Notastar will actually save all your notifications for you here. So you can see, got a couple notifications here from that, all the texts I got, an email, another Discord notification, more text. It's great, and I can clear it again. Actually, before I clear it, let's show you it from the lock screen. You do have access to it from your lock screen as well. So there's a little area, it's hard to find, right there. And when you swipe up, you have access to all of these. Now, this is a little bit of a security risk in my opinion, because someone can just view all of your notifications just from your lock screen. But it's there if, for those people that want it. This is essentially a notification log, and it lets you clear them. So you can, just, if you want to get rid of a notification, again, this is just, it's hard to find the right spot. You can just clear them away so you don't have them anymore. It does get rid of the log, which is nice. It's definitely pretty nice. Um, yeah, so these are the new apps in GoodLock. As, uh, as I showed you guys, there are a lot more than just, yes. Sorry. As I showed you guys, there's a lot more than just those apps, but these are the newest ones that came out, so I felt like it would be best to just show you the latest update. Uh, if you guys want to check these out, you can download them off the App Store on your Samsung phone to check them out yourself. I highly recommend just going through and seeing if you like them. I'm not a huge fan of them. I do like these two and then the Edge Lighting Plus. Those are really the only ones I'm using right now, but... It, you can get a lot more customization, colors, theming just off of this through a simple app install, which is great. So guys, thanks for, for watching. Um, let me know what you think of all of these good luck apps, um, specifically the three I showed you guys. Uh, I am going to be honest here. I usually delete the good luck app updates right after I install them. I try them all out. But these new three, the three new ones seem actually useful, unlike just the customization. So Samsung's trying to add a little bit more usefulness uh, to it. Now, it is good to note that some of these features, if they are well received, Samsung might move the uh, apps directly into the system. Uh, this happened with Routines, which was part of Good Lock for Android 8. They moved that from, uh, they moved that from the, Good luck directly into the system with big speed routines. So some of these are well received and well downloaded. There's a good likelihood that Samsung might move them over and just be pre-installed and pre and included in the Android system for One UI. Um, I hope I hope that happens with tags and uh, screen recording. To be honest, and same with the uh, notification, it should just happen. But again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of all the Good Lock apps and what Samsung is doing with Good Lock in the description below.